Repairing a torn screen on a door or window is really easy for any DIYer. If you have a larger tear like this, you'll need to rescreen the entire frame, and with a small hole, there's an easy patch fix that we'll show you how to do. Now, there are two different types of screens available to you, aluminum and fiberglass. Today, we're going to be using fiberglass screening because it's the easiest to install. Screen patch kits are great for smaller holes. They make them for both aluminum and fiberglass. This one is self-stick. You place the patch over the hole, smooth it out with your hand so it adheres, and you're done. If you have a larger tear like this, you'll need to rescreen the entire frame. To remove the screen, use a screwdriver to get underneath the screen spline and pull it from the channel inside the frame. Now you may be able to reuse the old spline, but many times it becomes brittle. Make sure you bring the old spline with you to the hardware store so you get the right size. Now it's time to roll out the screen. Allow it to overhang the frame, and then use a sharp utility knife to cut it so that the roll doesn't get in your way as you're installing the spline. This is a spline tool that's going to help you install the spline into the channel of the frame. Start at one end and push it in with your fingers. Then use the spline tool to slowly roll across the channel, pulling the spline as you go along. Also be careful that you don't create any ripples. If you do, just back out the spline and start over. You can keep the spline together in one piece and round the corner because most of the frames have a channel that continues. Remember, nice and easy and not too tight because you might bend the frame. Now it's time to trim the excess screen from the frame. Carefully take a sharp utility knife on the outside of the spline that you just installed and cut the screen away from the frame. Take your time, because you don't want to cut the brand new screen. That's all there is to it. For more helpful tips and advice, visit your neighborhood Ace and find us online at acehardware.com.